Oh, hey everyone, Mark here from Now You Know Videos. The other day I assembled this variation on a popular puzzle in which two objects are seemingly linked together. And the object of the puzzle is to try to separate the two objects, of course, without cutting the string. Now, I already know the solution to this puzzle. And I was thinking if I was to present this puzzle to somebody, I'd have to remind them that the best approach to solving this puzzle would be to think outside the box. Now, that got me to wondering, what is the origin of that expression, to think outside the box? Well, it was pretty much agreed upon that this puzzle by early 20th century mathematician Henry Ernest Dudeney was the inspiration for the expression, to think outside the box. Now, Dudeney's puzzle consisted of nine dots spread in a three by three grid. And the object of the puzzle was to take a pencil and draw four straight lines to connect all nine dots without the pencil ever leaving the page. Now it's probably at this point in the video you might want to pause it, draw your own little nine dots on a scrap piece of paper, and give it a try. So to show you how this puzzle inspired the idea of thinking outside the box, let me show you how it's done. Just a quick reminder, we have to connect all nine dots by drawing only four straight lines, and the pen may never leave the page. Here we go. Line number one, line number two, line number three, line number four. Ah. Now in modern times, if someone tells you that you were thinking outside the box, it simply means that they recognize that you use some kind of new, unconventional, or creative approach to problem solving. And speaking of problem solving, whatever happened to our original puzzle that we were looking at? How the heck am I going to get these two pieces unlinked? Well, let's have a closer look. So as mentioned at the beginning of this video, I constructed this puzzle based off a classic design of having two pieces linked together. Now I chose L brackets so that I could actually form a box to show that the problem appears to be on the inside. We've got two complete loops created by the strings and the brackets, so these two pieces will never come apart. But I also mentioned the solution to this problem lies outside the box. So if we've got complete loops here, where do we have an open end? Well, if we take a look over here, we do have an open end. The only problem is, the only way we could bring this out of the loop would be to take off this washer. Otherwise, this piece of string can't come through. So if this open end can't come into the loop, maybe the solution is we need to bring the loop outside to the open end. So watch carefully. We will take the loop, we will pinch it. We will push it through the hole on the outside. Now we can take our open end, flip it through the loop, and voila, we've got the pieces apart. Well, I hope you've enjoyed exploring the concept of thinking outside the box, as well as learning how to solve the nine dot puzzle, as well as the linked object puzzle. Hey, who put this back together? 